Hey guys, it's me, Real Slim Katie 25 uh, and this is going to be the first installment of a little series we're going to try out called Let's Talk Trailers, where I give you my judging a book by its coverification, snap judgment of a movie trailer that you may or may not have seen. I don't know, like, am I crazy? I feel like growing up, maybe it's because, I, I hate saying, like, I'm a movie buff, like, I hate saying that. But I am, like, I know, like, logically I am. Like, all my free time, I'm seeing movies, I'm watching TV shows, it's constant. Um, but were, were other people also raised to, like, get excited about trailers and watching trailers, making sure you're there at the movie early to, like, watch the trailers, talking about them, breaking them down? Maybe that's just a thing that me and my dad did. But anyways, as an, you know, a tribute to that, I guess, I, I still very much have all of these uh symptoms nowadays uh but i want to anyways blah 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 blah. i talk i talk i talk i digress i want to talk to you about the trailer for humane i had no idea this was coming out i literally talked about this in my one shot last week about sometimes i get really excited about movies i've literally never heard of before this movie comes out today literally came out today um and has peter gallagher in it the girl who plays stevie in schitt's creek and the premise of the movie is they're trying to, like, the, the world is becoming uninhabitable and they have to kill off 20% of the human population. Uh, anyways, the premise is two people volunteer and the rest of the people in this house are like, oh shit. And then the one person disappears, but they still have to take their bodies. So um, it kind of gives me vibes of if you like The Purge, if you like... A uh, Deadly Detention movie I watched with my buddy Andrew Miller. Um, it's a Shutter IFC movie. It looks like it in the trailer. I don't really have any words past that, but it looks like a low budget horror movie. That is that the premise seems more interesting than the actual movie. Based on this trailer, uh, I'd probably watch it, but I don't think it will be good. So, I guess those are my two snap judgments. Will I watch it? Yes. Will it be good? No. And again, love to eat my words. I love seeing good movies. But anyways, let's keep it fast and rolling. Next trailer I watched was for The Young Woman and the Sea, uh, which is a Netflix original with Daisy Ridley about a woman who's trying to swim across the English Channel back in ye olden days of the 20th century. Um, This comes out on May 31st. And the vibes this kind of gives me, I don't, the funny thing is I wrote down I, that this kind of reminds me of people who like The Impossible or people who like Soul Surfer would like this movie. And then I realized those are both water movies. And I don't want people to think that I chose those because they're both movies with water. Um, it kind of has the like, she can do it kind of vibes. Uh, historical fiction, historical drama. Um if you liked American Girl doll movies growing up, maybe you'd like this. Uh, it looks like the kind of movie that my stepdad and my mom would put on and I would fall asleep. But afterwards, I would pretend to be awake because it's an inspiring story. Um, anyways, uh, based on the movie trailer, I would not watch it. I would not watch it, but I think it will be good. Uh, and good by the standards of I think a lot of people will like it. I don't think I would like it. That is why I will not watch it. Uh, it seems too slow and it looks like it's shot. Um, I don't know. It just It's like a movie that feels very gray beige to me. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it seems interesting. Seems interesting. So anyways, those are my snap judgments. Uh, also, I forgot to shout out that Humane... Oh, wait. No, I said it came out this weekend. <laughs> my head is scrambled. This is so fast. We're trying to though. Fast form. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Uh, next, <laughs> next nap judgment, okay? I really want to talk about this movie, uh, trailer for a Harold in the Purple Crayon. Have you seen this trailer? It looks like dog water. It looks bad. Um, <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, 
if you know me you know I've been plagued and I will like die on my deathbed you know that they always say that like your life will replay the last like with the last seven minutes of your brain after you die will replay the highlights of your life the Lyle Lyle crocodile trailer is so stained into my brain I know it's gonna be there uh and this movie gives me those vibes and that that is bad we don't like Lyle Lyle crocodile uh, if you like Zachary Levi, then you'd probably like this movie. If you're a big fan of Shazam, uh, it looks like what I'd call a bath movie, but a bad bath movie. Um, I was talking with Andrew about it and it's like, there looks like there's some cool moments of CG potentially, but like the fact that Harold in the Purple Crayon is a baby and now it's Zachary Levi, it's like, it's so... I, I don't care about this story. I'm sure there's people out there who are like, this is my childhood. Like, I, blah, 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 blah. I just think it's disturbing. And I don't really like Zachary Levi. Sorry. The whole, like, I'm an asshole thing. It's not charming. You just, like, have a punchable face. That <laughs> That's coming out in August. Uh, date is not set yet. Based on the snap judgment, I would probably not watch. This. I will definitely not watch this movie sober. I will probably not watch this movie, and I think it will be fucking horrible. I think it will be the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and <laughs> so that's my snap judgment. Uh, moving on. Trap. This trailer just came out fresh out of the oven. Uh, the new M. Night Shyamalan movie. Uh, the premise is that he, there's some people trapped at a concert. And I'm going to let you watch this trailer, okay? Uh, but the premise is there's people trapped at a concert. They're try- The police are using this setup to trap a murderer. Which, first of all fucking stupid you think there's a murderer in a building and you're gonna trap a bunch of innocent people in it so anyways if you want skip ahead like 40 seconds if you don't want to hear me talk about what the thing is in the trailer um they drop this like plot twist in the trailer that the murderer like the main character looks down at his phone and there's somebody kidnapped in his home security footage so the trailer wants to believe that he is the killer or he has reason to believe that he is suspected by the police uh, and that pissed me off. I know, And then everybody in the comments is like, M. Night has so much more in this movie. Like, obviously he's not going to give everything away in the first trailer. I'm sure of that. I'm sure there's going to be more to the movie than the, just those two things. But it still pisses me off. I like, I like trailers where it's just vibes only. And this already tells me a lot. Because if you're watching in the theaters, that's going to be a plot twist to somebody. And I understand that that's part of their card trick. I just don't like that they revealed it. This trailer pissed me off royally. Um, Based on this, I will watch this movie and I don't think it'll be that good. I think a lot of people will like it though. Uh, It's like if you were a fan of uh, The Phone Booth, I think I said. Uh, What else did I write down? Or not Now You See Me, but what's the movie that's like Now You See Me that I fucking hate that everybody loves? I don't know. Somebody will drop it in the comments below, but I, it's not, oh, um, it's about spies english spies i don't know if you like that movie you might like this movie i have no reason just based on vibes just based on vibes uh anyways that's my snap judgment moving on uh turtles all the way down also oh trap is coming out august 9th turtles all the way down is the next trailer i watched this one came out very recently may 2nd is when this is dropping so next week uh, based on the John Green book of the same name, I'm pretty sure he produced a hand in this. This feels like a Netflix story. It's like a girl who has like anxiety or OCD or something. It's unclear in the trailer. Um, and she's a germaphobe and she's trying to date for the first time. Uh, so it feels like a Netflix story shot by Max or shot by Amazon Prime trying to look like Max. Does this make sense? Are we following? Good uh the mom from never have i ever was in it and for that reason i might check it out i don't know why i like her she is trustworthy Uh, this gives me vibes of if you like six feet apart if you like the half of it if you generally like these like streaming rom-coms you might like this uh i don't think i'm gonna watch it and i think it'll be fine for the target audience which is not me so enjoy enjoy if that's your thing it's not mine anyways next up we're going to blink twice which is coming out on august 23rd it's a new thriller with channing tatum and alia shawcat alia shawcat from arrested development this looks enticing uh the premise is 
Channing Tatum is this like superstar or whatever, I'm not even sure, and he invites these, like, random groupies to come party on his private island, and it's blah, and it's blah, and I think I talked about this a couple weeks ago, in fact, I'm like, I know I did, um, it's a premise of something's wrong with this place, and I don't know what it is, so that's super exciting to me, if you like Saltburn, if you liked White Lotus, um, if you, it kind of feels like it has some elements of Get Out, Midsommar, if you like that kind of thing, this movie's gonna be right up your alley. Yes, I will see this movie, and I honestly think it'll be enjoyable. Do I think it'll be a masterpiece? No, no. But I think it'll be very enjoyable. Who knows? Maybe it's gonna be really good. I'm, I'm most like, I'm, I'm excited about this one. Like, I'll see this in theaters, willingly, excitedly. Uh, final movie. My God, do we have a winner? This trailer came out, I think, like over a month ago. So I'm late to talk about it. But my God, if I have not gotten another top five movies I'm most excited for this year, this is The Wild Robot coming out September 27th. This is so, man, award season is going to eat the shit out of this movie. They're going to love it, okay? Same animation style as Puss in Boots and the Last Wish, which is one of my all-time favorite movies, if you don't know that about me. Um, and it kind of has the same vibes as WALL-E. I think maybe it's just because it's a robot or like Iron Giant. Uh, Hero's Journey. This trailer has literally like no words. So the trailer is just all these action shots of this like little lost robot running through the forest. And my God, it's so endearing. Lupita Nyong'o, Pedro Pascal, uh, Catherine O'Hara, Stephanie Sue, Mark Hamill. When I look... And I see Mark Hamill's voice acting in a movie. We know it's going to be fire. We know. I'm so excited. I know this movie is going to make me sob. It's going to make me sob. I know it. I know it. And I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Yes, I will see this movie. And it's going to be fantastic. Um, I can just tell. <laughs> uh anyways let me know if you like this series let me know if you like the pace of this maybe this was chaotic i don't know maybe yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> anyways uh let me know maybe i should not maybe this shouldn't be called let's talk trailers maybe it should be called snap judgments but i feel like that's been used before anyways let me know if you like the series this vibe i'd love to talk about more trailers bye bye